What is up, everybody? Hey, okay, we got to click off of that. What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us for another wonderful episode of... Um, the Pillars of Action. The Pillars <laughs> of Action! The action. 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 Oh, wow, we actually no. we did it that time. Didn't even High practice. Five. What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us on another wonderful Saturday. You've got me, Gary, the Everyday Dad, and you've got... Kelly. The everyday mom. So thanks for joining us. We're really excited to have you here today. We have got an awesome show for today. We've got some we've got some medium news, some big news. Uh, we're gonna have a really awesome guest. So I saw Sean was there. I saw Thomas Gerdes, Jim, I am Tech, Health Flattery. Oh, and Jim again. Kenneth Duke, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us. We are really excited to have you here. So so much news is going on. So let's kind of like well, before I get too excited, because I have a I've been known. To get to get too excited. What? What uh? What? What new? What, do you have any new gadget news? Do you have any new gear this week, everyday mom? Any new gear that I've personally used? Any new gear, or any new gear that you'd like to get? That I'd like to get? I don't know. Weren't you talking to me about something that you wanted to get? Like? Yeah, I. I wait. What is it? Um. Uh, well. A camera. Yeah, but also I was thinking I might need a new phone. Whoa, whoa. What do you need a new phone for? The, the, um, okay, so not the receiver, but the thing at the top that you hear people out of. The speaker? No, there's a name for it. The speaker? Like the incoming sound. The speaker? Okay. But this is like the receiver, right? This is a talk, talk, talk. I can. It's a microphone. The other one's a speaker. Okay, everybody. So we So got... yeah, this isn't working. So I just, I, I think I need to upgrade my phone. What do I do every day, Dad? I wasn't setting you up to buy a new phone today. No, but I'm hoping you will. <laughs> okay. So she's excited about the new phone. I'm excited about the new. I saw Photo Gear is really excited. Mm -hmm. The new <laughs> Fujifilm X-T3 that we're going to talk about today. Uh, let me just say something that this camera. So I have. Now, I've been using cameras almost every single day for two years now. I like to think that I have a pretty firm grip on how to use a camera, what kind of settings are inside of a camera, how to get you know the best image quality that I want out of a camera. <laughs> this thing blows my mind because I don't understand half of what's in here. Not in like a bad way, but like it looks great. We're going to check some footage out from this here in a little bit. But before we get into that, we're going to we're going to call over to our very good friend Travis and we're going to bring Travis McPeon who is fresh off his uh fresh off his uh 10,000 subscribers, so that's really awesome. That's amazing. So congratulations. If you haven't subscribed to Travis, I'm sure this live stream of us talking to him will convince you, and if it doesn't, you should subscribe anyway, because he, he has a great channel. So, so, Travis McP is his channel. So, you talk for a second while I call him, because what we were going to do is be, like, fancy. We were going to be fancy and, uh, fancy. like, just have him on already, and then it kind of fell apart, because the Everyday Dad's tech uh, kind of failed. So, let us get Travis on the line. All right. You're supposed to be talking right now. Okay, right? I'm re I'm reading. You What's guys. up, Travis? Hey, hey. Okay, no, wait, hold on. I, hold on. We, we got you. There we up? go. What's up, Travis? Hey, thanks for joining us here on... Um. You're supposed to say it. I'm sorry. I'm reading the comments. The Everyday Dad? No. The, what? The Pillars of oh, Action. Oh, Pillars of <laughs> Action. I'm you. sorry. I'm reading the comments. Um, well, hey, Travis, thanks for joining us. And we're... Hey, so let me be the first to like... Well, not the first, but the first on the live stream to congratulate you on reaching 10,000 subscribers. That is a really awesome milestone. Yeah, it's it's really kind of funny because as you and I were talking the other day, um, it's it's kind of full circle. It feels very full circle-ish um, because uh, for people that might not know that, uh, you know, been uh, fans of yours, I actually start out as a fan of yours. And it was uh, some of your videos that actually inspired me to go ahead and, and do my own YouTube channel. So. That was no, that's cool. awesome. Like, so, I mean, you really, so if you guys haven't, you guys should 100% go watch his 10,000, well, like I said earlier, you should go subscribe. After you're done subscribing to Travis, go watch his 10,000 subscribers video because it hit, you got me in the feels, man. You got me, <laughs> you got me in the feels. So I, I watched, like, so I saw that you got 10,000 subscribers. I, you know, I was like, oh, you know, he's been talking about this for a while. Because we, I mean, I talk to Travis all the time. Yeah. And, uh. You've been, you've been talking about this 10,000 subscriber video, and I was like, I have got to go see this then. So I went yeah, and right. watched it, and uh, like you got me in the feels. So it, seriously, Travis, awesome content creator. And uh, yeah, we're just, you know, we're, so we, we're not a general tech channel here. I generally focus on like cameras and stuff. So I got to ask you, one of the, one of the questions I, I've decided that I'm going to start asking everybody that's on the show, 
What's your favorite camera, or what are you using right now on your YouTube channel? So I'm using a Canon uh, 7Ti, uh, T7i, okay. and um, I figured out a way just this morning how to use it as my webcam moving forward. I just need to order the parts, which I'll probably do that. Um, but you know, uh, you kind of got me curious with your new series about the G7, which I've always known about. It's always been one of those things that I've had and kind of off in the corner of my mind. It's so inexpensive for so much performance, and I'm like, ah, oh, I just might have to do it. I'm, I'm, I I'm trying should, to fight I it. I think you should do it. It might happen. We'll see. You it might it, happen. You can do it on the stream right now. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I've got to return mine here pretty soon, but it's a... So the for those that do not obsess over camera details, um, I do a little bit. Uh, the Lumix G7, old camera. It's what I started out with on my... Because I didn't know, like... If I started all over again, I'd probably use something like the T7i just because they're, they're very high quality, but they're super easy to use. That it, Once you get... Like, good autofocus is just so clutch when you don't have to, like, worry about when you're in front of the camera, like, it working. So, no, that, Lumix G7, I highly recommend it, and you should definitely. I mean, I, I think people should get all sorts of cameras, but I, <laughs> uh, I'm i trying to convince. She wants to, the everyday mom has decided she wants to do a photography class, so oh. I think she's going to end up with a Lumix G7 also. Oh, very nice. Is that the one I liked? Yes. Or the you, one you liked? Would you know the difference? <gasps> is it the one that looks like Wally? What? That has the flash that pops up? I think they all have flashes that pop up. No, but it looks like Wally. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Okay, I like that one. <laughs> the Wally camera. You should know mm -hmm. which one that is. The Wally. <laughs> they all look like Wally. They've all got all these cameras and flashes. No, it's just like the little flash. It like bends up. It's all crooked and cute. They all do that. All right. Well, the one that did that. I okay. That one. Okay. So we'll do. She's getting. <laughs> she's gonna end up getting her very first camera. Uh, I don't, will you take video or just photos? Photos. It's photography class. Photos are boring. <gasps> Look, who cares? Nobody cares about photos anymore. They Man, must. Just, There's millions of people on Instagram. Videos are where it's at. And people post video on Instagram. I know. Weirdos. So, uh, not to derail this talk with the everyday <laughs> mom buying a camera, but so you've reached 10,000 subscribers. You're, you're kicking butt. You've got like some of the biggest names in YouTube, like following you and seeing like, what is yeah. Travis doing today? So what? What is Travis that is weird. Like, what's what's the next that step was, on uh what's the next step on your journey? By the way, that was a side effect I was not expecting. I that was <laughs> never part of the plan. That was never one of the things that I was like, this is what I want to do before the end of the year was have all these like major, you know, YouTube people follow me on Twitter. Or... Now here's the other thing: I have no idea if any of them are subscribed to me. Uh, I've been told by like Roberto Blake that all the big guys have like a ghost account they use to subscribe to other people, so they don't know that it's so weird. It's it's really like, like this media. weird thing. But yeah, no, I had no idea that that was a thing. Um, I, I think as much as anything, you know, man, like you just do it to try to, to kind of do it. I did it with a mission in mind. And I think uh, you were doing it just because like you had like I watched your very first video and I watched it when you were doing it's your terrible. kind of look back. Oh, don't it's watch so the very first funny. video. It's so bad. <laughs> if you've never seen it, immediately go to his channel, go to videos and watch his very first it's one. It's hidden. It's gone. Like, <laughs> Is they're, it all archives? Archives. they're all archives. They're all They're all private. So every now and again I'll bring them out like when people are like, "What should I do?" I actually on this live stream a lot when people we we do this thing every now and again. We haven't done it in a while. We should start doing it again called Pillars of Creation where I'll I'll like try to help people out and make videos. And I'm like, look guys, it's not, everybody starts off terrible. Like, look at my first awful. It's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> that is so funny. It, I remember, I remember watching it and, and thinking, well, uh, I think I can at least do that quality. I think maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I think everybody can at least do that quality. Cause it's awful. It's terrible. Just a it's guy with a camera, and that's how it all started anyway. Yeah, just a dude with a camera. Well, it started off with a dude with his wife's camera, because um, I started using your Nikon D Ancient <gasps> 1000. I think it was a 5100. And aren't you Nikon. so glad I had it? No. Because look where you are now. I ended up using a cell phone because it was terrible. It's not. It's no reflection on you that the camera was bad. The camera was just <laughs> well, terrible. God bless. Look, I, look, don't get me wrong. I love cameras of all shapes and sizes. The, the oh, no, frame, is he off? Is he off? No, he's... He, uh, Travis is still here. I think we're just having yep. some like uh, some video problems. You're like, we don't have your video anymore, but we can still hear you, so we're still good. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, try that. No, there we go. There, you're back. Yep. Now you're oh, there. I go. Okay. There, okay. There I go. Okay. That's there you're back. Okay. There we go. But yeah, your camera's terrible. Okay. That's no reflection of you as a person. 
I love you as a person. You're an awesome person. Oh. Your camera's terrible. Until I buy you a good camera. But do remember that you bought me that camera also. Well, I didn't know what I was doing. That happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, everybody, if you have questions for uh, Travis or me, you can always do an at uh, Everyday Dad or at Wonder Wife. She'll be watching the comments. So if you have questions for Travis, please uh, send them, and we'll get, to the, we'll get to the questions here in just a second. So you're going to continue grinding. Do you have anything big coming up that you'd like to, you'd like to talk about? Is there anything, like, on the uh, – so there was, like, we've, we've talked about the GoPro the last couple of days. Mm-hmm. The new, the new yes. GoPro is coming out. Well, I'm waiting for your review before I think about buying. Someone asked me on my live stream today if I was going to get it. I said, "Well, I'm actually waiting for the Everyday Dad to do a review first before I, because there's some money involved in there." By the way, I went on the website and I saw that they have that $100 trade-in thing, but they're not really clear like what qualifies. Because I have some old little cameras laying around from back in the day. Like, does that qualify? I heard some people, some people that. Uh, so when I bought it, somehow, so when I bought the, or when I pre-ordered, because I guess I haven't bought it yet. It hasn't shipped. When I pre-ordered the Hero 7 Black, for some reason, I got it for $100 off. I don't know how I did, because I didn't do a trade-in. It just, when I put it in the cart, it was $299. I don't Mm. know how. But then everybody was like, yeah, I traded in like an old, I don't know, Canon SX, whatever the Canon point shoots are from like 10 years ago. It used to be $100, so they traded in, they got $100 off. Interesting. Because I have like some old stuff later. I wonder, I'm going to try, I might try it. I'll wait to see what you say first. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, so... there's a really easy way to get to like my heart and that's stabilization. And right. I haven't, wa- so I don't watch. Well, and, and you not just stabilization, <laughs> not She's only just, there's, there's several stable. ways. There's several ways into the heart of the everyday dad. Um, a, food. Way, a way that cameras can do it is stabilization. Yeah. And so I haven't, so I have a very strict, I don't watch videos <laughs> about gear that I'm going to review policy because I don't want to like, unconsciously you'll be like oh i heard this before so i haven't watched any excuse me i've been watching any videos but i've read a few blogs about it that say that the stabilization is next level so i cannot i am so excited i'm so excited yeah i mean just based off what i saw the videos i saw uh casey and i had a video and then also they had the official video it looks unreal the way it's stable and it actually has me very excited and i'm just waiting to see what the reality is like you know I think Casey's might have been sponsored. And of course, you know, GoPros is their own thing. So you kind of take it with a you know a little bit of salt here, maybe a maybe a heaping uh, thing of salt. But I know that whatever you get is going to be the real deal. So I'm just kind of waiting patiently uh, before I pull the trigger for sure. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I'm very excited. So I want, and we talked about this yesterday or two days ago when we did the test live stream. Now, I want GoPro to succeed, but I'm also yep. like, I didn't like the Hero Five, <laughs> the Hero Six when it started, really just. <laughs> I mean, I made like five videos complaining about it. Um, right. So I really, really want, I really want the Hero 7 to be great. And from what, I haven't heard any major complaints yet, but I guess I didn't, I didn't look to see if the other, so before, w- one of the things that I'm trying to like come to terms with is like my relationship with gear has now changed in that, like, I don't, I don't necessarily need a new phone. I don't necessarily need a new camera, but I still get it. Cause I like making videos about it and I get excited, but I don't view gear as like, <clears throat> personal property anymore it's right. more like i don't know it's like, like a i was thinking about it today when i was watching your video i was like man you know he's talking about the you know buying stuff to review and i you know i was there myself not that long ago and but it's mm-hmm. like wh- i saw people talking about phones and i'm like why i don't even care about the phone but i get the phone and make a video about it i don't mm-hmm. know it's this weird relationship but um well whatever so- you get wonder wife should be something you review right i mean it's a perfect opportunity it is, but she'd probably get like the SE. Mm. Like, do they still make that? Do they still make the SE? The I don't iPhone think so, do they? Well, they call it the XR now, or the 10R now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't have... So she she refuses to let me buy her a phone that doesn't have a, uh, a headphone jack. I don't refuse oh. it. You... But I okay. do like... Okay, this is some revisionist history. Do right not here. pull up any flags. This is some revisionist history Don't pull right up here. any flags. I've tried to buy you cameras before, I know. Or phones before, and you're like, it doesn't have anything. I know, but now that I'm forced... You're not forced. You this thing doesn't to. work. I can't make calls. We could get you another one of those. <gasps> really? Probably. Yeah. For like 40 bucks or like still 600 I don't know. We could probably do another insurance claim on it. <gasps> we'll just drop in the tub. Nobody <gasps> saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Never it's mind. We will not do that. <laughs> what? That sounds like wow, premeditated insurance This conversation is going all over the place. What are we talking about again? What are we, Do we have any comments, Everyday Mom? <laughs> 
You have dug a hole. Do we have any comments for uh, for Travis or, uh, oh or anything? Oh, my. Oh, my. Are, are you watching the comments? Yes, I am. Everybody loves you in the comments, Travis. They want to make sure that you can see the chat. And they think that you need a proper introduction. He's got, like, the best introduction. I know. They want his introduction. Oh, they want him to do this? Yeah, to be a proper introduction. Travis, would you mind? So we'll, we'll pretend again, and then you can do... Do you want to do, like, your... Hey, don't tell him what to do. He knows oh. what to do. Does, it's his okay. intro. <laughs> okay, so here, you we'll, want, we'll, we'll go do back. do my intro? Is that what's happening? I, I guess you just do your catchphrase. So we'll, we'll do, okay. like... Hold on, we'll, we'll do like a cool intro real quick. Hold, hold okay, on. all right, okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us for the Pillars of Action. With me here today is the very special guest, Travis McPee. Travis? What up, players? Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yes. That was uh, perfect. It <laughs> was. We couldn't, I don't think we could have planned that better. No. <laughs> Oh, look at that really little well. plain, uh, ugly chair replacement fund. You got a little super I am Wedge. There. $20. You know what this is for? Put in the ugly chair replacement fund. I am Wedge. One, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think I am Wedge is going to earn like a... He's going to earn the Like shipping. a plaque on the next whatever <laughs> set of chairs because he's like the biggest champion. He hates these chairs. I hate he these hates chairs. Them. I hate like... Is your bum like comfy? No. <gasps> They're gross. Oh. Then sit on the ground. They're gross. Do I it. can't because we won't be in frame. Travis, do you get like heat about what you sit in when you're talking? When they're so, gross what? like this. You mean like right now? Yeah. Does anybody in your chat ever say, hey, man, what's up with the chairs? Not yet. I hope that never happens because this is going to be a little bit more. This is my actual like couch. So I don't know what to do if that <laughs> happens. I'm going to be in trouble. like, that's my couch, man. Yeah, you don't know, but um, he sleeps on these when he's <gasps> in trouble. Dare you? I don't know that I do. So you that. put you, you turn them both sideways. And you <laughs> yeah, you, they them turn. Or? It's I've, so comfy. I've never slept on them, but I've taken a few naps on them, and it works out pretty well, I guess. <laughs> you turn them toward each other, and it's like one of those airplane beds. <laughs> Very comfy. Super comfy. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, thanks, thanks. Thanks Sorry, I used to read the comments, so I did first thing up. Boom, it was, where's Travis' intro? And I hate the chairs, so there you go. Okay, do we have any other... Are there any other comments before I just start? <laughs> any non-chair-related things? Um, no, the last four comments are all about chairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're we're going to turn this into the pillars of... The pillars of upholstery? Or like the, what's a fancy name for like chairs? Like What's a, what's um. a, a, a synonym for uh, the pillars of... I don't know. Um, the pillars of sitting down. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You, you, I'm caught off a guard of uh, that. So Travis, uh, you just hit 10,000 subscribers. You're taught you got a Canon T7i. What would be if you could get we're, you're the G7? If you could get so I love cameras. If you could get one camera, what would it be? <laughs> I love that. Uh, I don't. So here's the thing. Um, I have been talking to a lot of creators, uh, friends of mine that do set, that do 4K kind of almost exclusively. And a lot of them have started to pull back mainly because a, uh, not necessarily their rendering time on their, like I can't do 4k on my computer. I, I might upgrade, but I mean, I'm on an older computer, so I couldn't do 4k, but if I did, they complain about the upload times and then the processing times on YouTube. And they're like really frustrated by it. So I would probably stay here until those two things kind of work their way, especially the YouTube part. Like, you know, you upload, it is what it is, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I go 4k, which means I'm going to stay with this. And then when it's time to go to 4K, which I think would be next year sometime, for me anyway, when I get the computer and the, I, I think, I think it's more about what brand I'm going to go with, not necessarily with a specific camera, because by then there'll be more cameras. That's true. And everyone talks so good about Sony with the exception of like, you know, being able to see yourself. And I have to feel like Sony by this time next year will have something that will have a flip out monitor or something. It's so, such a low bar to reach, right? Like, you know, they're going to do it. So that's probably whatever Sony's 4k camera is with a flip out screen that I can actually look at would probably be my next one. I, so man, it doesn't exist. I hope <laughs> so. There's rumors. Uh, there's rumors that their next, uh, their next camera release they're going to come out with is going to be called like something along the lines of the Sony a 7,000, which is going to be like an APS-C camera. So it's, it's supposed to be like a mini a mini version of their A9, which is like their top of the line uh, sports photography camera. But it's also supposed to have a flip screen, mm. uh, which would be amazing. It would be. It's just weird that that's such a, a low kind of a low hanging fruit that they just. Well, so here's gone. so here's uh, if you ever have you ever watched uh, Kinotika Dave over at Kinotika, his theory is that Canon 
uh, actually has a patent on the flip out screen. And so oh. like Panasonic and Nikon have to license that technology They're paying from it. them. Uh, so they have to pay for that. Just like, uh, so Canon has a, Canon has a license on dual pixel autofocus. Yes. Uh, yeah, right. So like when Samsung and their phones has dual pixel autofocus, they license that from camera or from Canon. Um, yeah. Actually, I think they license it, but sub license it to Sony because Sony makes the sensors for their cameras. Oh, it's so it's kind way, of a, but yeah. So yeah. the the thought is that they own the license to that. So somebody would have to make something totally different uh, to not have to fall into that trap. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, scratch my back, I scratch yours as far as like licensing. And it really, it's not like Sony can't afford it. Uh, I don't know. I know oh, right. 51 Drones. Oh. 51 Drones, two of my favorite tech tech channels. Keep up the fire. Keep the fire going, boys. Well, thanks so much. Hey. We really appreciate it. 51 Drones is another awesome channel. He is a frequent guest here on The Everyday Dad. If you haven't subscribed to him, you should 100% go over and subscribe to him because he also does awesome stuff. I hope your wife I'm has a good time in DC also. <laughs> <laughs> She's always worried about other people's wives. Well, I am. So don't let you all notice that. Trend. Don't let the friendly... people chat to me about it. So I'm like, doo, 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 you know, I'm just keeping up. I need to know what's going on with my peeps. So don't let the friendly like it's not facade, but like so I'm the introvert in the relationship. She is the extrovert. So I let's know. I think that needs to like she's the, the one channel doesn't show that like it's easy. It's, I let you shine, baby. Thank you. It's easy to <laughs> to like. I don't know, like to edit like somebody to be like way more energetic. True. Like I'm pretty energetic right now, but I'm all also like hopped up on caffeine. Um, normally, <laughs> normally I'm much the, more. Speaking much more of that, like I really enjoyed the episode where you guys both went out and flew the spark for the first time. I thought that was like a great. I was looking for more. I'm like, oh, this is a great little series you could do. Why didn't you do more? Well, because we moved and like. Well, before uh, that, but you were out there for a little while before we, that. Why? Because somebody, okay, so somebody gets nervous being on camera. I'm not naming it. Yeah, names. I didn't want to be on camera at all, ever. In so, fact, in fact, you'll appreciate this, Travis. Um, a long, long time ago, um, when somebody started the channel, uh, Gary kept asking me, like, why don't you be on camera with me? Why don't you be on camera with me? I was like, no, no, uh, no, <laughs> no. I was like, I like my anonymity. I like just doing my thing. And, um, you know, I just didn't want to be on it. He kept pushing, kept pushing, and I was like, fine. Whenever you get a thousand subscribers, ten thousand. <laughs> because I thought that will never happen. Yeah, wait, wait no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, surely um that will never happen. So I'll just put that out there. But then when it did, I was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> then she had to get on then she had to get on camera. <laughs> so for a while there we had uh for a while there we had the uh for the super chats, we had the everyday wife's like ring light. Uh, like fun to remember that yeah because I because we had two separate cameras and because I didn't want to be it the whole time he would just like <laughs> like I remember, you know I, shoot I over to me for like reactions yeah, I remember that. or like to see what I was doing or make fun of me or you know something like that and it sounds that sounds like me and so um but then um we one show the cameras weren't working or something we ended up sitting next to one another and we got some feedback like everyone's like just be on the same camera like Duh. It's so much easier. I do. It's so much easier. I have a question for you. Actually, both of you, because I think it'd be interesting to find out. Again, I mean, you have to remember eight and a half, nine, ten months ago, I was just watching you guys. Like, I was just watching the channel. It's so funny to be on, like, here talking to you guys and everything. Uh, you've been doing it for a long time. You have a ton of videos out there. You have some that are got a ridiculous amount of views. Have you ever been noticed in public? Have you been recognized somewhere yet? Yes. But so go? actually, uh, I have been noticed in public, but they didn't tell me about it until afterwards. So I guess somebody recognized me, but then the, we didn't find out to actually to one of these live streams. And you know who you are uh, out there. Um, but yeah, so but I've never if if it's happened again, nobody's ever been like, oh, my goodness, this is the everyday dad. I, I assume um, that I'm I'm not like that, like so exciting. They're like, I see the everyday dad. But no, I <laughs> Hold on, we've got we've got some uh, some additional super chat. So 400 AGL Wonder Wife, it's great that you let him think that he's all that in charge. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. <laughs> we all come to see we all come to see you. We know who the hashtag boss really is. I believe me, I know that everybody comes to see her. And Why? Me. I'm believe me. I, I offer nothing that. technology. You guys saw the sidekick. That's as exciting as I can get. Steve Carpenter, ten dollars. Nice live show, Ted, the Everyday Mom, and Travis. Congrats again, Travis. Ten K. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> 
Yeah, Travis. So yeah. speaking of 10K. <clears throat> Mm. Oh, well, hold on. Okay, you, yeah, where, we where didn't you, finish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I got one more. Catch I got one go more. ahead, Travis. I do have one more before you go. I do want to hear what you have to say. So I, uh, John Prosser, who's a friend of mine and has a, a channel as well, just had a really interesting experience. It just happened to him about an hour or so ago, and I just wonder, this might happen to you guys unless you don't order pizza. He ordered pizza, and the pizza guy came to the door and recognized him. So it's the weirdest <laughs> thing. He goes, oh, my God, it's you. <laughs> so it's probably going to happen to you at some point. If someone like kind of does the oh my god it's you type thing like what kind of things are you doing to either like save your privacy or or are you excited for that moment or what like have you thought about that at all? Well, I haven't thought of the pizza guy. Um, no, I than, hadn't either. I was like, I mean, whoa. I, obviously, I protect my privacy by you know I I pretty much I'm you know Gary the everyday dad. There's a there's a million Garys out there. Um, yeah, dang. I've thought about doing the like Casey Neistat like sign on the door like absolutely no visitors, <laughs> um, just in case because a she's couple, acting like she's ever seen a Casey a Neistat. Vi- I have seen them because I I've made you watch them. them. But look, um, and I actually keep some of the Everyday Dad um, postcards and magnets in my car, just in case. Oh. You know, like if somebody runs into us, I was like, oh, hey, or you really do that? Yeah, it's in the like the door <laughs> of like the little pocket at the door. You'll have to check next time you never drive my car, but you know. So they're in there in case someone was like, oh, hey. And I'd be like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. here you go. And, you know, cool, you saw cool. us and whatever. Um, but I don't know. I, I sometimes wonder, like, are people going to recognize us? And, like, what would they It'll say? Happen. Like, your show sucks or, oh, we love you. Or, like, well, what I'm are they going to say? Too. Well, probably. I'll tell you this. My guess is at the very, anyone who reaches out who sees you and talks to you are probably not going to say your show sucks. Like, most for the most part, people. <laughs> like that in person it sucks right they're not gonna do that they're gonna go oh let me go up to and tell you you suck it's gonna be the person that's like oh my god it's gary you know and maybe not to that degree i'm just curious like what that do you do you think is it your personality to kind of pull back from that or would you be like oh this is really cool let me do a selfie with you and stuff like what do you think it would be i don't i don't know i so the everyday dad would probably be pretty excited about it but gary like on his normal day i don't know that's a i haven't i haven't actually thought about it because i mean we're like forty thousand, like forty three thousand subscribers. It's not a lot. I mean, there's like billions of people that watch YouTube every day. I guess Perfect. I haven't, I haven't really considered. You better it. start thinking about it, man, because like you're in a metropolitan-ish area. That's, that's and it could true. Very I guess easy. I'd probably take like a selfie, be like, "Hey guys, you know, I do the Spider-Man selfie and do the, <laughs> the peace sign." Oh yeah. I've been playing a lot. We beat uh, the Everyday Kid and I beat Spider-Man. Oh. Nice. Uh, this week it was pretty awesome. <laughs> that's a cool looking game. Oh, I'm Wedge. More money. I'm Wedge. Wow, man, I am Wedge. You, you are. You really want the. Uh, I'm 100% on board with I am Wedge. Let me know when you uh, when you park your car. I'll strap two new chairs at the top and bring them home. But you got to dump the old. Believe it, dude. I am on. I got. It. Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> well, that's a funny. All right, Travis. So hey, before before we let you go. What so do you have anything like you wanna you wanna pitch or do you have any like big things coming up that you want people well, to get excited? I have questions from too. Okay, you get one question and then we, we have to so we can't just, just click, want? we can't just like click beta. Do you even know me? We we, we gotta talk about <laughs> we gotta talk about the XT three. I have point. questions. You get one question, go. One good one. Okay. Wow, that puts me on the spot because I did have several. But okay, so Travis, you hit ten thousand. What's your next goal and what's going to be your reward for hitting it? And so is just, your girlfriend ever going to be on the channel? Oh. Don't hate me. <laughs> my my it's miniature cute. dachshund has been on the channel. Will she be on? Maybe. Uh, it's possible. She's said some stuff about it. Um, okay. I have not put a um, I have not put a goal because this last one drove me insane. So uh, <laughs> the next big thing is is just you know hopefully going full time someday in the future and and it's it's been a lot easier already. Like I feel a lot better. Um, this morning's video, normally I'd be sitting there on the analytics trying to figure out like, okay, to do well, to do bad. I haven't looked hardly at all this morning and it's just so, so much better and so much more freeing and I'm not as stressed about it. So I'm just going to stay doing this kind of hippie ish type thing where I'm just like, Oh, here's a video. Enjoy it. Like just and, organic, uh, organic growth. I, so I, that's all I care about anymore. I'm just like, whatever. The, that's, I'm most happy when I don't look at my analytics. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, me too. I stress. Way, <laughs> I don't know. Like I stress way out. I know we have to talk about ups and downs and pits and valleys and it drives me nuts. That's not. Yeah, somebody gets a, somebody gets a lecture on YouTube analytics every time things are not going. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not naming Damn. names, but. I'm just saying I know way more about it than I ever cared to. So there you go. 
I don't know. One more, quick, yeah. quick, slip, slip one in. Okay, slip okay, 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 okay. What was, what's been your favorite video and what's, what videos you are you looking for? You can't do for? two. Look, I can do it. They didn't stop talking. It wasn't, it wasn't even a comma in there. What's been your favorite video and what video are you looking forward to making in the future? Um, so some, actually some of my favorite videos are ones that uh, haven't done, that were like my earliest ones. Um, I did, uh, I sent this to Gary a long time ago. It was the uh, Bulletproof um, uh, Action Cam. Oh, I yeah, know, I remember just, that. Yeah, I remember a long time ago. Uh, just silly. Uh, but yeah, I like the stuff I do now, but I, I think back to those times when I was just so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and uh, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh, those were good times. I don't know what I'm going to do next. To be honest, um, I have some stuff. <clears throat> I figure, like, I, I just want to do things that are interesting to me now. From this point forward, I just want to do interesting things. Some people will like them, some people won't. And at this point, I, based on the things I hear from my live stream and people that leave comments <laughs> that don't hate me, um, they just like what I do. So I, I'm just going to do more of that, I guess. I guess. Yeah, yeah. that's a good formula. That's a good formula for success. You got to do what you oh. enjoy because it, I, and I say this a lot, but there's always going to be ups and downs. You just got to enjoy it because that's what the enjoying it is what gets you through the downs. 100%. Everybody gets them. But all right. Hey, thanks for joining us, Travis. We really appreciate it. Everybody, if you haven't gone to subscribe to him yet, go subscribe to Travis. Uh, thanks so much, man. And congratulations again. Uh, it's Thank really you. awesome to uh, to see that you're growing. And we hope to, you know, that you continue on your, your growth trajectory and just enjoy what you're doing. I will. I thank you guys so much. Uh, really, perfectly timed to be on here. And I'm I know so we glad. planned it. It was yeah, super planned. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, man if hey, you thanks ever, for if you ever everyone drop out just give me a call i'll be around absolutely man hey thanks yes, again. you're we awesome really travis it. thank you always for being a supporter and for being so amazing at your videos thank you so much you have Peace awesome attitude <laughs> Bye, man. <laughs> thanks guys all right He's so, so sweet. love travis absolutely go subscribe to him uh if you have not yet but and i know <laughs> uh hold on i'll, I'll retweet this out because i know uh photo gear was here to was here to see the uh, now. Hold on, let me talk for a second. Oh, okay, sure. So, hey, everybody in the chat, I'm watching it, following along. Right, Floyd, I I hope you hit your 20 subscribers soon. Um, everybody loves Travis, so that's awesome. I mean, he's really awesome. He's sweet. <laughs> um, Floyd Mendenhall said he recognized one of the YouTubers from his channel at 400 AGL. Oh, so. Nice. That's cool. Lloyd, I think it'd be cool to run into you. See if you're really grumpy. <laughs> okay, so, hey, Photo Gear Fun, you're back just in time because now we're going to talk about the X-T3 and every day mom immediately goes to sleep. What? <laughs> well, I'm just reading. I see I got tagged in something from Thomas, so I'm reading it. So, yeah, so Fujifilm uh, just very recently came out with the uh, brand new X-T3. This was released on Thursday. They just shipped out. Uh, so... If you've followed the channel for any amount of time, you know that the three cameras I've used most have been the Lumix G7, the GH5, and the A7... Wait, what did I just say? No, the the G7, the A7 III, and the Sony A6300. So the Sony A6300 I used for a very long time. It's an APS-C sensor. This is kind of like the, the Sony A6300 on, like, steroids. It's got, it's got video capabilities in this thing that I have no idea... Like, it is amazing. Yes, Kenneth, the dog is going crazy because we're not allowed to get rid oh. of the dog. Can they hear that? Yes, they can hear that. Because she never stops barking. Reese! Because she never stops barking. But anyway, uh, help at home. So original question from earlier, how do the X-T3 handle my skin tones? Well, we're going to find out because we're trying something new today where we're, I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about some footage. So I've got some clips uh, that I filmed today, and I mean, you'll see the full you'll see the full cut in the video on Monday. My initial impressions, but um, here is let's see how this is gonna work. So this is some video I took. So I think it looks really good. This is in the Eterna profile. Um, I think it looks really good. I think it does a really good job holding up the skin tones and the autofocus on this thing. So you see me testing out the autofocus right here. The autofocus on the XT3 is legit. And not only is it fast, like you see it here snapping between like the tree and the leaves, uh, but and I didn't manage to get a clip for this now, but we'll talk about it in the uh, we'll talk about it in the actual video itself. It does eye autofocus in video. So one of the things about the A7 III that's awesome is that the oh hold on, so this is the GH5 is on the left, the XT3 is on the right in this comparison, and I I don't always wear a hat, but um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I put on 
Hold on, let's go back to look wrong thing. So sometimes I put on sometimes I put on the camera and I just start talking to myself while I film it, so I can <laughs> so I can kind of see like how the camera's working. But so I have been very so I filmed with this now. I've done two whole batteries out of it today. This thing is an amazing camera. Um, it, I actually have some really tough decisions to make now because uh, so I just very recently bought another GH5. That's what we're streaming on right now. Uh, my plan is to get rid of the a7 III because I've, I've never been able to, uh, I don't know that I would ever be able to use a full frame camera long term. The lenses are just too big. Like, I don't like big lenses. I like small lenses like this uh, 50, or, uh, 12 to 35 uh, micro four thirds lens that's teeny tiny, but it's super high quality. It's awesome. This is the kit lens. It's an 18 to 55, which is a 24 to what? A 24 to 105 equivalent for APS-C. This is an amazing lens too. Um, I think, I think the uh, the XT3 is going to be a really awesome camera. The the <laughs> problem that I was running into is, I just got the GH5. I was planning on using the GH5 as like my solo camera for like eternity. This is is getting ready to draw me away because I really the image quality coming out of this thing is it's like next level good. Um, I didn't do any. I didn't do any of uh, like post processing to that footage. It was just straight out. It's like the Eterna profile that everybody everybody on the photo blogs are like, ah, Eterna profile is the best. That's what people when you oh. talk, when you type on a photography blog. That's what that's you, how they sound. That's how you sound. That's how they sound. Um, okay. But they're like Eterna profile. So I did it. And so if you have any questions about the XT3 that I can answer from using, um, oh, and here's the best feature. Do you see that? You can take this door off. We thought we, I broke it in the car today when I was testing I it out. But if you've used the a7 III for any amount of time, you know that the most frustrating part is if you are like me and you put it in a cage and you have a monitor and you have a you have a microphone. There's like all sorts of cables and those doors stink. This, you can just take it off. Look at that. Look at this. You just take that door off. That's amazing. That's my favorite part about the thing. But this, so this records in like... So the GH5, you know, people have filmed feature-length films on the GH5. I thought it had, like, some legitimate, like, video chops. This is kind of like a, a GH5. So there's there's two real cameras that this is this is really, like, a hybrid of. And it's the GH5 and the a7 III. So this week we're going to, you know, obviously make comparisons based on that. Because this shoots video like the GH5, but it has the bigger sensor. And it's not a full frame. Um, but it has the bigger sensor... And the autofocus of a Sony camera. It's, I don't know, like I'm stuck now. Like, I wasn't planning on keeping this. B&H Photo sent this to me, um, and I wasn't planning on keeping it, but I may just tell them, hey guys, just just bill me, because I want to keep this. I don't know. Do we have any questions about it? Oh, I see talk about my t-shirt. Well. <laughs> I only have three t-shirts. Jonathan Maxwell, you have the same shirt on B-Roll that you have on right now. Do you have a set of wardrobe for your YouTube appearances? I do actually, like, have some t-shirts that I only yeah. wear for, like, on video. Most of them are nerd ones. And what Because happens, they're, like, family-friendly and safe and usually clean. Usually. <laughs> but what happens is when you spend all your time making the videos, the lines start to blur of what you wear. So I bought the shirt specifically for, like, making YouTube videos. And then as I'm always making videos, I'm always wearing the shirts. So it's kind of like... It's kind of like... But weird. I buy you not a new ones. You just got a bunch for your birthday. She did. My birthday was a while ago. And have you worn them? Yes. In any of these videos? I think so. That's a no. I think so. No. Queen Awesome Gaming, it does not have a flip-out screen, unfortunately. I wish it did. I, if it had a flip-out screen, it would be the best. John Spiru, it does not have a touchscreen. For some reason, I also thought it had a touchscreen. Or maybe I just don't <laughs> have it enabled. Let's go to the menus real quick, but... I like tried today <laughs> and it like there was no touch screen like uh, let's go to screen setup. Yeah, I'm not seeing touch screen. I see information, large indicators, natural live view, auto rotate, focus scale, dual display, image display, auto rotate display. Like it doesn't have um doesn't have a touch screen, which is also unfortunate because I really like having a you say it has it, but dude it, it like it doesn't like it doesn't touch. Like, maybe mine's broken. Like, maybe my, but it doesn't, like, I just looked in the settings. I don't think, see anything in the settings about, um, user settings. Nothing. I see image display. Nope. 
auto rotate display, preview, natural live view, framing guideline, auto rotate, focus scale units, dual display setting, display custom settings, electronic level, live view, shooting view. Yeah, it doesn't. It does not have a touch screen. If it does, I just you know, <laughs> I don't know maybe maybe I'm just look. I've never claimed to be an expert. I'm just a dude that makes YouTube videos. So it says touch screen mode, display custom settings. It says touch screen mode, but it, it, this one does not have like a touch screen. I don't understand. It says it. It says it should. Maybe I'll I'll check out some more before I say either way because I definitely do not have it. Does it have a mic jack? It does have a mic jack. Can Everybody's it? now saying it has a touch screen. I look, guys. I you got to find it for me then because I'm looking. I don't see it. That's the XT3. This is the XT3. Okay. But like. It doesn't touch. Gerald says it does. I I mean I don't disagree. You have to activate it or something. I don't, I mean you had to activate it for the uh, for the A seven three, but it wasn't like hidden. And if it does have a touch screen, it probably you know it should be hidden like this this far down. Display custom settings. Oh, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But anyway, so this has been a fantastic camera. I'm very excited to continue filming with it. One of the issues I'm running into is. Um, my monitor, for some reason, it works when I do 4K60 on the GH5. It is not, so I have the Andy Scene A6. I don't know where it's at right here. Uh, but it does not have, for some reason, it will not. It works with 4K30, <laughs> works with 4K24, will not work with 4K60 on this camera, which kind of stinks because, like, without the flip out screen, I need some way to see myself because that's the most important part, right? Of course. Of course. Um, I haven't had it overheat yet. I had it out filming 4K 30 and 4K 60 for about uh, 30 minutes today, and then the battery died. Um, I didn't actually get it a. Uh, I didn't actually get a chance to like fully charge the battery before I just excitedly got out there, and then I did some filming in the house today. Uh, so battery life, I would just have to believe whatever Fuji says it is. But the, another thing that stinks is it just like look how teeny this thing is. Look at this tiny battery. I just I think. I've been spoiled by the Sony a7 III Z battery, where it is like a 12, uh, 1260 uh, milliamp hour battery. Um, I've been spoiled by the a7 III, the Z battery that just lasts forever. Like, that battery mm. lasts forever. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions about this amazing camera, I'm just so excited. Uh, I get to hold on to this for 30 days. So if you have anything you want to see about it, you know, leave a comment or, you know, shoot me a note on Twitter and, and we'll talk about it. But it is, it's an awesome camera. Oh, and it has like a, the aperture. So one of the cool things about this camera, if you've never used a Fuji, I've never used a Fuji camera is all of these manual dials are like the ISO and the shutter speed. And then the aperture is like on the lens itself. Can you hear that? It's super satisfying to click. It's super satisfying to click. It has a cover, Kenneth. Thank goodness. Only DSLRs apparently come without covers because I got a DSLR in today. The Nikon D3500, their brand new DSLR is sitting right over there. It mm. also didn't come with a hot shoe cover. No wonder people don't buy DSLRs anymore. That's yes. false. People buy DSLRs all the time. Can you um, charge it and use it? Yes, it has a charging capability. I, th uh, Yeah, it has a USB-C charging port. And if it has a charging port there, I would assume you could use it and charge it at the same time. I don't have a USB-C um, here to use real quick, or we try it out on camera, but we'll check, we'll check for the video. So hey, I said I had some medium news to talk about, and uh, let's talk about it real quick. So, oh. yes. Oh, are you talking about the thing? What thing? The thing you told me to remind you about. Yes. All right, good. So, I reminded you. If you've ever, if you follow, uh, um, I almost said Fifty One Drones. <laughs> Fifty One <laughs> Drones, you're on my mind tonight. If you follow uh, Ready. Ready Set Drone, Kelly Shores over there on his channel, he's kicking off or he's starting a like a, a little uh, not a convention but like a uh not a get together what's the word i'm looking for not rally con not conference. or a... Maybe like a conference so he's starting it's called drone spin up conference it's going to be in austin texas on december 1st and i will be speaking there um i there's a link to it in the description below uh if you'd like to come i think the i think uh Man, uh, Ken Heron. Man, I'm having some brain farts today. Yeah. Ken Heron's going to be there. Uh, you know, uh, Ready Set Drone's going to be there. I'm going to be there, and I'm going to give a presentation uh, on like social media and YouTube, and you know, it's more. It's going to be more like motivational than anything specific about YouTube. But uh, yeah, you can join us there. Have a great time. Should be fun. I'm I'm just looking forward to meeting everybody that comes because like I was very disappointed 
at the DJI event that I wasn't able to meet everybody. I was disappointed when I was in New York and we weren't able to meet. So uh, I do want to start making, I do want to start doing like more meetups and this will be like the first big one. This will be like the first big one we go to. So if you'd like to go, uh, I think there's a registration fee. I don't know what it is, but if you click in the description below, I do have a link to it. It should be a lot of fun. I've never been to Austin. Have you, you've never been to Austin. We ne we drove through like the northern, what do they call it? Like the top hat of Texas, but we've never gone through the middle of it, the belly of it. I mean, I've spent a lot of time in San Antonio, but I've never been to Austin. Right? I've never, I went to like Lubbock. Remember we like drove through that like top part, but that's like it. Amarillo, 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 Amarillo. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. So, yep. But yeah, so if you'd like to go to that, I I will be there. I'm very excited. It looks like a couple of people in the chat are going to be there, too. Oh, yeah? Who's, who's that? 400 AGL. Oh, awesome, Mel. I'll, I'll see you there. Who else? Let's see. William Kelly, I know. Actually physically meeting people. Kenneth Deuce excited. I don't know that I'm ready. Kenneth, I thought you were in Florida. People. Are you going to be there? The Panhandle? Pan I thought that was Florida. That's Florida. That's I like, that... I thought they call it like the top pad or the... Something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Texans weigh in on this. Somebody's never, we don't know. Somebody's never really left Ohio. Don't you lie. I have lived with you in how many states now? Five. Count them up, fool. Four. Ohio, Ohio Georgia, Georgia, Washington, Arizona. Arizona Virginia. Virginia. That's Ohio, four. Ohio, Georgia, Arizona, Virginia. There's five. You forgot Washington. Washington State. Okay. Yeah. I was like, there's five. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I like pulled my leg. I was like, "Oh my gosh, am I wrong? I it mean, can't be." I mean, you're wrong. It can't be. I you're know wrong it's every five. Now and again, right? You're never wrong. Are you ever wrong? Never. No. So anyway, so yeah, back to the Fuji because I forgot something <laughs> that I wanted to mention. So we were gonna live stream off of this. Um, we were gonna live stream off of this today, but so next Saturday we'll be live streaming off of the Fuji. Um, maybe we'll start doing the videos in 4K 60. That would be kind of cool. Would you guys want to see 4K 60 frames per second? Like, that's what all these cameras are supposed to do, right? Everybody's like, we need 4K 60. Maybe we need to, uh, maybe we need to start making the video. We used to do 1080p 60. We did? I don't know. 60 frames per second. We're doing 1080p 60 right now. Uh, we'll see. 60 frames per second sometimes looks kind of weird. I kind of like. There's a touchscreen in menus. John Spiru. Okay, we're gonna look right now. We're gonna look again. So I'm in settings. It's happening. I'm in settings. User settings, sound settings, screen setting, button dial setting, power management, save data, connection settings, screen settings, EVF brightness, EVF color, EVF color adjustment, LCD brightness, LCD color, LCD color adjustment, image display, which is like continuous one, but that's not that. Auto rotate display, preview, natural live view, framing guideline, auto rotate, focus scale units, aperture units, dual display, display custom settings, large indicator, large blah. There's nothing in there about a touch screen. You sound like an auctioneer. User settings, my menu settings. Maybe that add items. Can I like add touch screen? Like to my menu, is there a touch screen option? No, there's not a touch screen option. So I don't know. Here, let's press this button. That did not give me a touch screen. Let's press this button. No touch screen. No, no, but we've touched all the buttons. What about this guy? Nope. Uh, let's touch this guy. Nope. What about this one? There's lots of buttons, though. I do. I like cameras that have lots of buttons. You might have buttons. to YouTube how to use it. I'll have to YouTube some. I'll have to watch some other good YouTuber <laughs> that knows how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I don't know that we can do 4K 60 live. Maybe we'll try that. Uh, we've got gigabyte internet, so maybe, but... Whoo. Whoo. We, were, we did screen settings. Look, we'll figure it out. The good thing about the Fuji cameras, it comes with a huge... It comes with a huge actual user manual... Uh, that I like. Canon does that, and Fuji apparently does that, where they give you the actual user manual. Huge. I like that. I like that a lot. Doc Murdoch, question. What's the difference between the Lumix GH5 and the Lumix DMC F FZ200? Seems to have all the same features. I, I mean, the GH5 is more of like, it's a DSLR mirrorless style camera. It has interchangeable lenses. I love the darn GH5. So I like the a7 III. It's in my... I've said that the a7 III has been my favorite camera. It's been the camera I've used for so long. But using the GH5, it's like the perfect camera for me. I don't know why. I've had four of these GH5s, by the way. I've had four GH5s. I believe it. The video, the first GH5 I ever used was if you watch my, um, the Tello, the Tello one month later video, where it was like outside, that was done in the GH5. And then if you watch my... I had a GH5, didn't even use it to make videos. I think I streamed with it once. 
And then I had a GH5 where I made the Sony, the Andy Scene A6 video where I was showing you the A7 III. And now I have a GH5 again, and I will stay with the GH5. I love the GH5. Carlos Jamalin, that's tough. GH5 or XT3, that's tough. I don't know yet. I don't have an answer for that. Um, because it's like the XT3. I know I, I help at home. I watch a lot of uh, TC, or they're not TCS TV anymore. The DP review guys, um, Chris and uh, Chris and Jordan. I watch a lot of their stuff, and they say Z all the time. So, uh, what does that mean? Z. Oh. They just say Z instead of Z. Oh. But um, I don't know yet between the XT3 and the GH5. So the XT3 has like everything I would want the GH5 to have, GH5 to have a slightly larger sensor, um, really great autofocus. But the GH5 has the um, the GH5 has better slow motion, has 180 frames per second as opposed to 120 frames per second. It's got that stabilization that's just mm, mm, the stabilization is so good, uh, and it also is a full HDMI port. Now that may not sound like a lot, but Full HDMI ports are a really big deal for me. Um, the the HDMI port, like it's a it's a, a huge deal for me. So I, but I really like how the image out of this looks. I like all the settings in this thing are just next level, and the fact that it has face and eye autofocus and video is amazing. I mean that is legitimately shocking. Um, the, I like APS-C is actually my favorite sensor size because the lenses are still kind of small, but you get a lot more of the like full frame kind of, kind of benefits. Don't get me wrong. I like micro four thirds too, but APS-C is like my favorite. If the, if the GH5 was APS-C with better autofocus, it would be the perfect camera. Um, but I really, I really like this darn X-T3. Um, it's making it, I like it more than I thought I would. Um, cause like I said, my preferred video setting would be. My preferred video setup is having like a camera that I keep here in studio that has great autofocus. I just sit down and I go because this is where I'm always in front of the camera. But I'd like to have the GH5 for like to do my B-roll where I'm behind the camera and it makes it easier. Uh, and I did that for a while, but if I'm not using the camera to its fullest potential, I don't like having the wasted money. What, what are you doing over there? Whoa, pay attention to your own side. I like, I don't want to have the wasted money. Um, so I, I don't know. But this one, the price, it's expensive. This was 1800 bucks with the kit lens. But for what you get, that's not a bad price. I don't know yet. I have not. I've only been playing them with this for today. I can't make any definitive statements. I like it more than I thought I would. If I like it way more than I thought I would. Okay, let's go to the uh, let's go to the questions. Jeffrey Liu, have I used the SL2? I have used the SL2. I think the SL2 is a perfectly great. I have some videos on it if you want to check those out. Uh, I think it's a pretty awesome camera. Um. If you're looking for a, what, it's like 500, 600 bucks, great autofocus, APS-C DSLR. I don't really like DSLRs. I feel like they have a lot of wasted space, like, because they've got to have the prism and the mirror built in, um, whereas I prefer mirrorless cameras. I never use the, I never use the EVF or OVF anyway, so that's not a real big deal for me. Uh, yeah. What's up, Matt? Matt MPG, thanks for joining us. Kenneth Duke wants to know. What's up? About your drone... Video monitor. What do you use? I just use my cell phone. I just use my regular phone. It just connects to the connects to the app. Works really well. Photo gear fun for video alone. It may not be worth it, but it's great for photo and video. Yeah, I don't really do a lot of photography. I only do like uh, the photos I take are just for my thumbnails. And if it's like family stuff, I'm going to use my cell phone uh, just because it's easier. Even though I get roasted alive in the comments for saying that how dare he say that cell phones are better than cameras. Uh, but I only ever use my cell phone when I'm taking like family uh, photos. But I don't know. I think the video quality in this thing is just outstanding. I think this might be the new. So the GH5 for what the last two years has been like the cinema DSLR style camera. I think the Fuji XT3, like from what Canon's released, not very great for video. Nikon's probably going to be a pretty good video camera. The Z6, I'm excited to try that out at some point. We do, this week Panasonic will be announcing their full frame mirrorless camera, which I was hey we're talking about it, so it's not a clickbait title. We we talk we're talking about the full frame Panasonic camera. That might probably be too much money. Like they're talking, it's going to be around six grand. That's going to be an expensive camera, or they're talking it's going to be about three grand. I that's more than I want to spend on a camera. I mean, I'll probably check it out, but I won't use it. Like the, this GH five I got used for like thirteen hundred bucks because GH five is you can find for. Like, the GH5 right now is probably, like, the best camera to get if you're looking to get into video. Amazing features. 
you can get them for a steal now. Um, and they're really great. Even for now, they're fan, they're one of the best cameras out there. I think this is going to become the new, like, the new GH5. Because people, a lot of the people that buy the GH5, they don't necessarily they buy the GH5S. Like, this puts the GH5S in a real hard spot. Because this does everything the GH5S does, but better, except for the flip screen. It should have better low light. It should have, it does, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we are coming up on the end. We're coming up on the end, so let me know if you have any final like questions or comments. And uh, 51 Drone said, thanks for joining us. 400 AGL, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll do like five more minutes. Uh, we'll go five more minutes, and if you have any final questions, we'll go. What uh, what do you got in our last few minutes? Okay. Um, Kenneth Duke reminded us to mention about the postcards. If you want a postcard, just... Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. So those of you that super chatted, most of you probably already have one, but if you would like to get your very own uh, Everyday Dad postcard slash magnet combination, uh, some of them are up here. Right here. Oh, well, if you'd like to get one a super chat of <laughs> super chat of five dollars or more, we'll get you one. If you did a super chat today and you want another one, you just shoot me a note, uh, shoot me an email, or send me a note on Twitter, and we'll get those out to you. Um, very awesome, very awesome. Kenneth Duke, these are AirPods, so we just put these in so we could hear. Like, so the way we have the audio set up, there's no way for us to hear like Travis when we were talking to him. And oh, yeah, like, we don't need them anymore. Don't need it anymore. Um, so those are Oof. those were to uh, to listen to Travis. Those were listen to Travis. Jeremiah McIntosh, did I sell the new Mavic yet? I did sell the new Mavic. Um, I sold it to another YouTuber called This Tech Time, I think is his name. Uh, yeah, there's just no place for me to fly it here. Having a fifteen hundred dollar drone uh, limits me to do other stuff for the channel. So I did I did sell it. Um, I'm looking forward. So one of the things we're going to try doing here, and I'm in talks with somebody, is we're going to bring a team member on to the Everyday Dad, and we're going to have a video editor starting here. Uh, I'm going to order a video from him in the next couple of weeks, and then if it works out, he will be doing um, he will be doing the uh, the video editing here, which will free me up a whole lot, and I'm excited about it. Kenneth Duke, did you get your magnet from us? Just let me know in the chat. Kenneth Duke, just used to seeing you have a core that was super short. Yeah, I was really sick of that. That's why we figured this out. <laughs> this was like the main priority because I was sick of like because the cord's right there. The headphones are right there. I wasn't going to And we have to share again. and it's just like, oh. Yeah, it wasn't going to work. Okay, everybody. Hey, thanks for joining us for another excellent episode of The Pillars of Action. 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 So, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks to Travis for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to Travis's channel, go check out his channel. Awesome, dude. Thanks, everybody, for joining us, and we will catch you very, I almost said very much. We will catch you next Saturday, <laughs> same time, same place. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Take care, everybody. Have a great